Hey guys, welcome to part one of designing your own CSS website. Uh, what we're going to be designing is a basic site including a header, sidebar, content bar and footer all done using CSS. Let's get started. As you can see I've got a basic page uh, layout here with the HTML tag, you've got your head tags, uh, your body tag and of course your post HTML. The CSS code that we're going to be doing is going to be put directly into the page for the moment. In part 3, possibly part 4, uh, we'll actually show you how to remove it from this page into its very own CSS page, but for the moment, let's build it straight into the site. Now, the CSS itself uh, contains the parameters that govern how the site looks. Uh, so each of the elements on your page uh, is going to be governed with the width, the height, uh, border, etc., uh, all through CSS. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open the uh, a, what's known as a style tag, like so, uh, and the style type is text slash CSS, like so. That opens the style tag, which tells the, the browser that the content between the content following this tag is basically uh, styling or CSS. So the first thing you want to use is body. So you go body, open tag, and then you want to put the contents of the site. Now we're going to use a a basic, uh, it's like a blue background. Uh, the font we're going to use, which is font family, we're going to use Vedana because it's a good looking font. Font size, again, font dash size. We're going to go up 10 pixels for the moment because it's a, a generic uh, good looking style and you close that tag. Right, and then we're going to go to the containers. There are six containers we'll use on the site. There's the contain there is the container which holds the entire site, there's the header, there's the sidebar and the content, which are which are themselves contained within a central container and the footer. So each of these is going to be uh, defined <coughs> in the CSF. So we'll start with the container. So you go div hash container, and you can name these any way you like. Uh, the div hash stays the same, container is the word that we're going to use. Um, you open the tag, it, I use a new line because it looks good. Now, if you want to uh, do the width, we're going to go 600 pixels wide, right? This is the actual central site itself. Uh, we're going to have that a, and we want that centered. Uh, the best way to center it is to go margin zero auto, like so. You want the background of that central area to be white using ASCII code FFFFFF. Uh, you can use just three Fs or you can simply have white. ASCII I, I find works best. And we're going to give it a border uh, in black which is six zeros of three pixels wide and a solid line. As you can see, uh, with Dreamweaver it drops down these uh, message boxes, just ignore those. With the borders you can also go with solid, thin, thick, dashed, dotted, uh, the whole range of what you can use. The next div is the header. So you go div dash header, open tag, and you want to make this with auto. Uh, I use auto, you could use 600px again if you want to, too. that's pixels, I use auto. You want to define the height of the header to uh, 100 pixels. Again, that's entirely up to you. I'm using 100, but uh, you know, if you want a bigger header, you can make it as much or as small as you like. Uh, we're going to give the background uh, again. We're going to have a, a white background, not really needed for the moment, but um, because the site background is white anyway, as, to, as can, uh, defined up here in the container, uh, we're going to come back and edit this particular section in day in the third video. So for the moment we're just going to give it a white background. Uh, we're also going to give it a border at the, just the bottom of this. So you can border dash bottom. Uh, we'll go with the black border again. Uh, we'll go with black border. We'll make it one pixel wide so it's a bit thinner and solid. And then we'll close that tag. You always have open and of course close tags. Right. Next we have is that again. Uh, 
this is where we have the main container. So we're going to call it main container. This is the part that holds the sidebar and the content section. Uh, the only thing we need to put in here for the moment is the width of 500 pixels because everything else is going to be defined in the actual sidebar <coughs> and uh, content area. So, naturally, next here, if you guessed it, it's the sidebar. Uh, the sidebar is going to be limited, so we want to have width of 200px. Uh, we're going to have a border on the right hand side of it of, again, black. Make it one pixel and we'll have a dashed border instead of solid. It looks a bit more professional. Uh, as the sidebar is on the left hand side, we want the float to the left. So the code for that is float dash left. Simple as that. Uh, and we'll leave it for that. We'll come back and edit this part again further on. Uh, so that's, that defines the sidebar. Now we want to go uh, to the main content area, which again is div. We'll call it just simply content. And we'll open the tag. Okay, so this is where we want to be. Uh, now we have a 600 pixel site. We've got the sidebar set at 200, so naturally 400 would be the logical amount. I always give a 5 pixel leeway, so we'll make it 395. That just allows for any um, any browser issues that might want to uh, make alignment problems. Um, border, none. Now I'm using none. The reason I'm putting it here is if I want to come back and change this at a later time, uh, it's a lot easier to simply change that than to, I mean you can just add it later on, but I, uh, I like to put it there because uh, it makes things a bit easier. I want to float this one to the right, basically uh, sidebar on the left, main content area on the right. It's uh, basic logic and we're going to leave it at that. Uh, there will be more again customized on the third video. And the last one of course is the uh, is the footer. And the footer of course is that one at the very bottom. Uh, we're going to have width set to auto a bit like we did with the header. Uh, we are going to limit the height of this one to 20 pixels. Uh, and we're going to have a border just at the top of, uh, again, we've got black, uh, one pixel, and we'll have a solid border there. And the most important code we're going to have here is clear both. Now, just quickly, I'm going to jump back over here. As you can see, because we have a left and a right content bar here, and these won't always match in length. If you have more content in the uh, content area than you do in the sidebar, naturally the uh, the footer, you know, you want the footer to to basically run straight across, regardless of the length of these two ones here. So uh, by adding the clear, it remove it basically clears any um, any any. Uh, code that's limiting the, the length of these that ensures, so that ensures that the footer uh, always runs perfectly straight across the bottom as you um, as you need it, like so. And then of course at the very end of this you want to uh, close that style tag so that you've got up here open style and down the bottom of course close style and that's the basic CSS done. Now there are a lot of other, a lot of other functions uh, that you can use and that we will be adding uh, in future videos. Initially this is just three to four videos long, this guide, uh, but this will be an ongoing project uh, so there will be uh, videos covering embedding uh, video contents, RSS feeds, uh, and eventually turning the site that we're working on here into a fully, fully functioning website. Uh, that contains useful information. That's the uh, that's the overall goal. But right now, uh, we've got the CSS basic CSS done. Uh, second video, we're going to show you how to implement this code here actually into the body to actually build the structure of the site. The third video, we're going to customize that and and input some basic formatting. And the fourth video, uh, we're going to show you how to do some clever things like removing all the CSS putting that into its own CSS file and then duplicating this to make your second, third and fourth pages. So there it is. Uh, enjoy um, video number two. Uh, thank you very much.